So I think that is the exact thing that happened to Accra that made it to be congested. Accra is the capital of Ghana. What do you expect? I believe that this will be a project that will take 20 years to fulfill. Ghana needs a new city just like what Egypt is doing by building a new city from scratch. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nkem Doris. In case you're stopping by or seeing this face for the first time, you are highly welcome, feel relaxed, and do make yourself comfortable to you, my returning viewers. Thank you for stopping by. Have you been following this channel? If you've not subscribed, please do me this favor and subscribe. So I am here with a very beautiful Ghana news. That I said, let me use this medium and disseminate the information, pass the information across to people it concerns and people that would love to hear about it. Okay, so from the news, this is what um, uh, this is what it says. After that, we'll now analyze and talk about the news. All right, the news goes like this: breaking news. This is indeed long overdue. Ghana needs a new city just like what Egypt is doing by building a new city from scratch. However, we wish this doesn't end up like the Hope City Ghost Project. Hmm. Please, help me and claim in the comment section, what is this Hope City Ghost Project? Eh? Let me let me adjust my camera. I think it's a bit slant, slanty or so. Okay, I think it's okay now. So please help me and clear me. What's this Hope City Ghost project that I'm seeing here? I would love to know. So let's continue. According to our former president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, aka Mr. Infrastructure. He will initiate the construction of a new city in Accra, Ghana, if he is re-elected as president. I will start a new city to decongest Accra, says John Mahama, the flag wearer of the National Democratic Congress, NDC. John Dramani Mahama has pledged to initiate a feasibility study for constructing a new city outside Accra to ease the capital's growing congestion. Speaking at the interaction with the European Union Chamber of Commerce on Tuesday, May 28, 2024, Mr. Mahama outlined his vision for a new growth pool that would create thousands of jobs both during the construction phase and after completion. While Accra will remain the capital, Mahama mentioned the need to decongest the city by relocating some government ministries departments, agencies, and financial institutions to the proposed new site. We will start a feasibility study with a plan to build a new city, says Mr. Mahama. Accra is getting grid locked. The time has come for us to move some parts of the government services out of Accra. Mahama envisaged the future city spanning three regions, Greater Accra, Eastern and Volta and located near Volta Lake. Accra will continue to be the capital but will move part of it outside. There is land on the Accra Plains and there is land on the other bank of the Volta Lake and all that, he said. Already, we are going to have a port terminal. There is a lot of land there and we can move some of the ministries, agencies and departments out of the city to decongest Accra. Mr. Mahama also acknowledged that the project would be a long time project spanning 20 years because Accra has expanded to its limits. The way it is going, if we are not careful, it will be difficult to continue to manage it as a viable city and so we will start the plan and the design and the feasibility as well. I believe that this will be a project that will take 20 years to fulfill, but we need to start somewhere. And so we will start and others will come to continue from where we leave off. There has been congestion in the capital that has affected business growth and smooth delivery of government services in recent times.
Wow, I applaud the government of Ghana because with this and with what he said, I think he's doing a very wonderful job. Okay, if for for him to come to the rescue of the resident living in Accra, I believe it's, it's it will be affecting so many things there, the businesses and so many things like he said. For him to come to the rescue of because to me it's it's just like one coming to the rescue of the residents and the citizens in that country. By so doing, it will help businesses to thrive. It will make the smooth, smooth running of the businesses, smooth lives there. Yeah, capital uh, Accra is the capital of Ghana. What do you expect? Just like here in Nigeria, Abuja is the capital. So many people that they even have the mind of let me relocate to Abuja are now having the mind that, that they want to relocate to Abuja. Reason being that either job issue. They might have gotten job there and it will take them to Abuja. They might have feel like, okay, since it's the capital of the uh, 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 of the of the country, uh, 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 it's it's a good option to go stay there with my family. You know this kind of stuff. They will move to that place. So it brings the because the, because of it, the capital of the country. It brings the citizens. It brings people different re regions, different languages to that place you won't blame people that want to relocate there so i think that is the exact thing that happened to accra that made it to be congested from what i read now that made it to be like overpopulated by so doing moving out some ministries moving out some organizations moving out some things some people there and some offices there will also move people out by so doing it will reduce remember overpopulation is not good remember overpopulation can cause a whole lot of things so with this action i think personal decision personal personal thoughts i think it's a very wonderful move what do you think what do you think tell me in the comment section what do you think regarding this move that the president of ghana is about taking what do you think this happened the news is from 28th of May, that is on Tuesday. So tell us what you think. I would love to hear from you all, okay? Tell me in the comment section. Tell me the region you are also commenting from. Are you living in Accra? Have you lived in Accra? What do you think? Do you think this overpopulation that he is talking about is actually going on? Is actually true? Or it really needs the, that attention? Or he shouldn't go that side. Just tell us in the comment section. I believe he is hearing and also seeing all that he needs to be done. As a president, he's serving the country and I think he's doing so, so, so well in that area. Okay? Remember, this is still in Game Diaries. Do have a lovely day, guys. Take care of yourselves and see you guys in my next video. Bye!